Hi, I'm Missy with On William Street, and we are here to help you become a more confident quilter from the piecing to the quilting and everything in between. This week, we are here to show you a really fun little project that you can add to any quilt. I love adding a little bit of texture, a little bit of pop of color to our quilts, and an easy way to do that is with this fun little peekaboo border. So remember all of the instructions that we're gonna be going over today in this video are going to be in a blog post. And you can get to that blog post by the link that is in the video description. So just scroll on down by that description and click over there and get all of the details. And then also don't forget to check out our shop for your next quilting project. Okay, so to add this little border in, you're going to want to go ahead and follow the instructions on your quilt to cut out whatever borders are already on that quilt. So the length, the width, um, that you're already planning on for that quilt. For our little 18 inch mini, I've got our two side borders cut at two inches by 18 inches, and then our top and bottom border, two inches by 21 and a half inches. And then to add in that little peekaboo, you're going to need to have four strips that are the length and width of the quilt. So not of the border instructions that are in your quilt, but you're gonna want them of the quilt itself. So for ours, because our quilt is an 18 inch square, we have four mini borders that are cut at 18 inches long and they're one inches wide. So it's just a, a little bit of color coming through on this border. So after you've cut that one inch wide strip, you're going to want to take it to the iron and iron, fold it in half and give it a nice little press all the way down. Do that to all four sides. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take each of our little mini borders and we're going to sew them onto the quilt. So I always like to just um, have a couple of pins just to hold things in place. If you're using making a, a larger quilt, use more pins to hold it all in place. But I'm just gonna put one on each end and one in the middle just to Keep things where they need to be. Then we're gonna take this over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew a scant quarter of an inch or even you can even go less than that if you're worried. So you can even do a, like an eighth of an inch seam. And the reason that we're doing that is because when we sew the actual border onto the quilt, we don't want the seam of this little mini border showing through. Now that we've got that first border attached, we're gonna go ahead and attach the, the rest of them. So I always like to do the two side borders first and then the top and the bottom border. And as you're um, pinning these on, I forgot to mention, make sure that you've got your folded edge of the fabric facing into your quilt and your raw edges against the raw edge of your quilt. Now that we've got our little peekaboo border added to all four of our corners of our quilt, we can go ahead and just add our regular borders just as we normally would. So I, like I mentioned, I always do side borders first and then um, top and bottom borders. So whichever your preference or follow the pattern that you are using to add this in. Now we've got all of our borders sewn on, the side and the top and bottom. We can see our fun little peekaboo border. And this is really fun to add to any quilt project, especially for kids, adds that little bit of pop of color that can be a lot of fun. You can also add this if you've got a quilt that has multiple borders, you could add this in between borders if you wanted to, to add that little bit of extra texture and fun to your quilt. And don't forget all of the information that we went over today is in our blog post. So you can get a, the link to that in the video description below. So check that out. And then also don't forget to check out our shop when you're ready for your next modern quilting project. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram to see what we are working on and we will see you next week.